I've always felt that the power of pictures is astonishing. I've always felt that when you look at a truly powerful photograph, that you are changed emotionally forever. Because they stop the world and make you look, make you think, make you feel. I was in journalism school. I was 22 years old, and I had the opportunity to study in London. I bought a train ticket to the eastmost tip of the United Kingdom, and I started wandering the docks, you know, and talking to people. And they said, going out for 14 days, you want to come? It was a storm at night. We were pitching through 50-foot waves, and I was just like, yeah, I was going to be a photographer. So I'd take my lunch hours, I'd take my evenings, I just shot relentlessly on my days off, hoping to get something in the newspaper. You know, you bang your head against the wall long enough, you'll start to crack the wall. <laughs> you know, in my case, I have a very hard head. I'm heading to Budapest to create what is hopefully going to be an amazing picture, a high fashion shot in a museum with the D850. It's really quite an amazing place, so I hope to do it justice. What excites me most about a new location and a new set is the possibilities. Where could this go? And I'm also terrified, yes, this could fail. But I think you have to take one with the other. Challenge the camera, challenge yourself. The res of this camera is 45.7 megapixels. If there's a margin of error, you know, the resolution will be unforgiving. This is not a one flash job. There's going to be about 30,000, 35,000 watt seconds of light at play here tonight. Staging, propping, makeup, hair, styling. So a pre-light for a complex situation like this is absolutely essential. We could not go in tomorrow night and just set this up and shoot it. Okay, testing now. Only getting one. Because it's such a big space, one or two lights going down could mean a completely blacked out area for us in the frame. I'm going to work with the guys here, making sure that everything is going to work. There's always a feeling of anxiety about, like, can I really actually do this? Lower the high roller, please. I want to make it a dream shot. I want to make it a singular picture. but. All of the anxiety has to be on the interior. What I have to project on the set for crew and cast and everybody is positivity, positivity, positivity. Yes, we can do this. Let's charge. Let's go. Bravo. <laughs> Forget the stilettos. We're going with the slippers. <laughs> we can come in a bit more. All right. Ready, Anna, and action. OK. That does not work. Duck, throw, and duck. One, two, three, action. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Win. Action. Okay. No, it doesn't work because it just looks like it's hanging there. Yeah. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready, ready. One more, one more. When everything finally comes together and you realize you got what you come for, there's a tremendous sense of relief. That's the thing about photography. You can imagine something. And then by taking a picture of that piece of your imagination, you make it real.